Let's get right into the news now. As you know, former President George H.W. Bush was laid to rest today at the age of 94. In his honour, the stock market was closed today and the Postal Service suspended all mail deliveries. So, no mail today. Um, now, our audience at this show is quite young. So, if you don't know, mail is like a tweet, <laughs> right? It's like a... <laughs> but you, you write the text on a piece of paper <laughs> and then you put that paper in an envelope, OK? An envelope... <laughs> An envelope is like a... It's like a sweater for a letter. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And then you... You, uh, you put a stamp on the envelope and th a stamp is like... <laughs> it's like an Uber ride for the envelope. <laughs> OK? And then you, you place that in a post... Do you know what? It's too complicated. <laughs> just, just Google it, OK? Google it. <laughs> But it was nice, it was nice. The Bushes wanted to celebrate the day with a time-honoured Republican tradition, cutting services from a government programme. It was... <laughs> it was very fitting. Um, this was an odd story. Trump's attorney, Rudy Giuliani, had a tough time on Twitter recently because of a typo in one of his tweets. Giuliani mistakenly created a website link, right? And then a man in Atlanta had the brilliant idea to buy that domain and launch this website. So when you click on that link, it says, Donald J. Trump is a traitor <laughs> to our country. Yes. Now, kind of brilliant. Brilliant. You have to admit, what a clever thing to do, to swoop in and design that site so quickly. I think we have a picture of the guy who did it. <laughs> Giuliani then went on to say that he wrongfully claimed that he was hacked, which is extra crazy because Giuliani was originally a cybersecurity advisor to President Trump <laughs> and also runs a cybersecurity firm, right? <laughs> Do you have any idea how hard you have to work to come off looking like the dumb one in Trump's inner circle? <laughs> it's impressive, really. Moving on, this was an interesting story. A man in Pennsylvania recently received a call from an amusement park saying workers found the wallet that he lost on a roller coaster four years ago. Yeah, four years. It's comforting to know that amusement parks do roller coaster maintenance exactly <laughs> once every four years. It's wonderful. <laughs> Personally, I prefer to lose everything in my wallet at an amusement park the old-fashioned way, just buying a single bottle of water. <laughs> $28? Yeah, seems reasonable. Um, and we had to show you this. Yesterday, a Milwaukee news reporter was interviewing a Harlem Globetrotters basketball player live on the air when the reporter attempted a backwards half-court shot. And, well, see for yourself how he did. Take a look. Can I try to make a shot here? Yeah. yeah, I, yeah. So which way do you want me to go? I'll let you decide. I, I will. Since you shoot in that way, so let's... Do this far one? Yeah. All right, here we go. I'm going to go backwards, really oh, up man. the ante. Here we go. So, Sean Gallagher trying out for the Globetrotters. Oh! Bang! I mean, we, we wouldn't have shown it to you if he hadn't made it. Like, <laughs> you really should have known that straight away. <laughs> but my favourite part of this whole clip is the reaction from the anchors in the studio. Look at this. For the Globetrotters... <laughs> hey, what do you say about that? <laughs> I'm done working at TMJ4. I am working for the Globetrotters now. <laughs> that... That is the coolest way to find out just how much your co-workers don't believe in you. <laughs> and finally, a woman in Arizona recently posted a photo of her dog wearing a special vest designed to protect the animal against coyotes. The photo went viral, and I think you'll see why. Here's the dog here. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> this is how it works. Coyotes see the vest, and then they turn away out of embarrassment for the dog. <laughs> Can we see that dog again? Look at the dog. <laughs> Look at those eyes. The dog's going, just kill me. Just... Just kill me now. This is... Owners need to be careful, though. The vest does ward off coyotes, but there's a real danger of attracting punk rockers from the 80s. 